Simon's son. Which should betray him. Which was going to betray him. Why was this ointment so? Why would the new promise like that we could have sold it? Why was not this ointment so for uh, 300 pence? Go ahead. And give it to the poor. Yes. This he said. This he said. Not that he cared for the Not because he cared. For the poor. But because he was a thief. And had the bag. And he had the money. So if that money had come in, he would just divert the money. <laughs> now go to verse 7 and get the idea here. The 7 and 8 will, will advise you. Go ahead. Then said Jesus. Then said Jesus. Let her alone. Someone say, Let her alone. Let her alone. Someone say, Let her alone. Let her alone. And now look very closely. Against the day.
one who is in control has stepped into the sea. Sometimes we are walking and we are playing seriously. And when anybody that sets eye on him freezes. <laughs> How great is that law? You know what? Do me a favor. Get me a chair here. Get me a chair here. Let me anoint the feet of people of God. How suffer. She has kept this for my barrier. Verse number eight. Verse number eight. She has kept this one for my barrier. For the poor always he have. The poor you always have with you. But me, you have not. But always. me, you have not always. <laughs> the poor. They thought it was for the poor. He says this one is not for the poor. There are certain anointings that is not for the poor. There are certain anointings that are for control taking. Listen, if you don't take charge, if you don't take charge, if you are not in control, eh? Blessing can come into your hands and slave off. But if you are in charge, if you are in control, you may take the place. To some of you, every man that comes into your life, you have so much hope. Ah, this is it, God. Thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Hey, I didn't know. This can God do. I never see your kind do. I say this time, God. <laughs> By the time you go, blessed be your holy name, you will realize it is with somebody else. Somebody is holding a cool. <laughs> no struggle. No struggle. There are certain people sometimes you look at their faces and you say, This one does not deserve this man. This one does not deserve this man. Ah! Now, can you put the end? Can you put the But if you don't take it, somebody will use your cargo uh, for your thinking. And you will be so angry, but you will be comfortable. I am cargo, but I don't care. Here is the big game, and they are playing my game. If you are powerful enough, take control. But because I am in charge, I'm the one in control. The Lord was telling me this evening, and listen, in all your ministry, you've done so well. But the only time you have been in charge is the last two years. And I've looked at my life, how much I have achieved over the years. And the work I have done. What crowd have we not gathered? And now I don't care even about crowd. I am concerned about control. I am concerned about what? Control. Listen to me. May the Lord give you control. Yeah. You are not understanding me. You don't need crowd. I say you need what? Control. You need to be in charge. Yes. You need to take the pace. When God was releasing these things into my mind, and some of these things, write it down there for me. You don't need that crowd, but you need control. You don't need crowd. It's not about the crowd. Let me tell you, you can gather that crowd and gather money. You can't do anything with it because you are not in control. But the one in control will take something very little. And with that little, they will do great things. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Spirit of God will place you in charge. In fact, to some of you, you are not even in charge of your own life. People are running your life as if you have no Jesus. As if you don't have God. As if you don't know anything about the Lord. But from today, any spirit that has taken control over your life to control you, may the Spirit of God take control over your life. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord hand over to you your own control so that you will be in charge. 